familiar with what's going on in Washington, D.C. Congress just passed Obama's $3.6 trillion budget for 2010, not including his increased request for funding for defense and also Medicare costs. We all know that this government spending has gone completely out of control, and we need to put a stop to it today. is not for my money, but for the money and the prosperity of my children and my grandchildren. And as it is my greatest hope that my children and my grandchildren can reach far and achieve their dreams and work hard in a free and a prosperous America. for coming out today. My name is Chuck Edgeberger, uh, state rep from District 13. And I just wanted to say a couple of comments. I was going to keep it short since Cynthia Davis usually is a little bit long-winded. Um, I have one question to ask you. What did people think here about the stimulus plan? That's exactly what I thought. I am, I'm a financial planner by trade, and I and always will tell my customers but I never forget that it is your money, and I will treat your money with the respect that you deserve. I still say the same as I'm an elected state representative from the great state of Missouri, and I believe the elected officials in Washington, D.C. should do the same. What do you think? Yeah! yeah. What, are we, what are we gonna do about that? He took the room. Everything's been already passed, so the only way that we can get things to not be funded is to, according to Todd Aiken, is to unfund them. And then recently, I just heard a quote from our current governor on C-SPAN, Washington General, and this is a direct quote. He said, Missourians pay their taxes, which we always do. And if there's debt, Missouri's children's, children's and grandchildren will pay off that debt. Do you want to saddle your children and your grandchildren with all this debt? No! How are we going to how are we going to stop it? Vote them out. That's a good thing. And then also, what you need to do is call your representatives, send letters, visit their offices, and tell them exactly how you feel, and and remind them whose money is it. It's our money, right? And what, what do you want to be done with it? You want it to be spent on projects with pork barreling? I don't think so. We had a tea party event here yesterday and there were a lot of signs out there, a couple of them that I really liked. One is, honk if you pay your mortgage. Another young gentleman had a sign around his neck, said, keep your hands off my piggy bank. And my favorite one here of all, don't spread my wealth around, spread my work ethic around. Yeah. Once again, I'd like you to be for coming out today and for your help to get the message out. Once again, what you need to do is call, write, visit your elected officials, and let them, let them know what you think about whose money is it? Tell them that and tell them my quote. I said, I always know that it's your money and I will respect and treat it as if it is your money. And tell them to remember that. I'd like to thank you and may God bless you and the leaders of our country. Thank you very much.